Oh, hey guys, it's the Sleepy Snorlax, and in the last episode we did stuff, and so let's start this one off here. Sorry about the panic beginning there, I kind of screwed something up. Anyway, in the last episode, we did Route 110 and the Battle Tent and realized that these people are annoying. Anyway, we're going to start off this episode by running over here. Now, please... Ow, oh, crap. Please note this is a completely optional area where we're just going to be fighting trainers. So I'll probably leave an annotation to skip to a uh, point where we actually come back in the real story if you guys don't want, really want to watch this. So yeah, anyway, if you got a shroomish here. Oh, and Nikado's getting really close to leveling up. That's cool. And we're just going to start spamming cut like it's nobody's business because that's how we roll around here. Anyway. Oh, stun spore. I'm a ground type. That shouldn't work. That sucks. Anyway, I'm paralyzed now. That's fantastic. Is my microphone plugged in? Let me check. Cool. I evaded his attack and I used cut. That's cool. Good job, Nikado. You dodged something for once. Absorb. Oh, you wimp. Come on, let me just kill you and get this over with. Okay, um... Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a few days. I actually got sick. So I couldn't upload the next day like I said I would. So yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, sh stupid aroma ladies. I hate these trainers. They're annoying. Anyway, another Rosalia here. Okay, um... We're just gonna do a... At least I can't be poisoned. <laughs> stupid parahaxes. Alright, so keep spamming your poison sting like you know how you want to. Uh, another cut attack. I'm gonna go shut my door. Right back. Spawn animation, do your stuff. Going over this way, though, does have its benefits because not only one do we gain experience for it, which is always nice to have considering the next gym's pretty hard. Well, it's not going to be for me because I have Marsh Tower, but now quit draining my HP. Anyway, we're going to be, this is, yeah, there is some, uh, there are some good items you can get over here, which helps and come on. Really? Kill it. Thank you. So, Rosalia goes down, and we get a lot of experience for that, actually. That was cool. Nikata's trying to learn Mind Reader. What does that even do? Uh, sensors your foe's action to ensure that... Eh, I don't need that. Yeah, stop learning, Mind Reader. So, actually, that gave us a lot of experience. You weren't led astray by the aroma. Yeah, I hate going to flower shops and smelling that stuff, because I'm allergic to that, so... It's not fun. Uh, paralyzed heal. Good thing I always carry five of them with me. Um, where is a... Soda Pop. I guess we'll use that. Hmm... Try to level up Ninkata level 20, that way we don't have to train him for a while. So we're going to cut the straight on. Yeah, in, in order to come over here and get the maximum benefit out of all this stuff, you're going to need cut. So get ready for that. And also double battles, but I'm going to ignore them. Whoa, how'd you get a space this small? Because I'm a 10-year-old kid, they got kicked out of my house. Anyway, Rhett here has a Makuhita, level 15. That should be good for us because we're a bug type. And we're just going to start spamming cut because that's all we ever do. Idle throw. Okay, it's not going to be very effective. This is like a rematch of Brawly. Except not nearly as tense. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I was on the edge of my seat. That's probably the most animated you'll ever see me get. Um, or hear me get, I mean. But anyway, he's going to do an arm throw. So he's going to do one damage and waste our time. Like, this is almost as bad as watching Bullet Seed. I mean, seriously, come on. Anyway, another cut attack. Let me move the microphone away from the keyboard so you don't hear me mashing the A button. So how you, how my, have my viewers been recently? I mean, I've been pretty well and then getting sick over spring break. Yeah, that's real fun. Uh, back here you can grab some berries, which is why you want to come over here. You get four cherry berries, which are basically paralysis heals, so now I have like eight of them, which is always good to have. So you get my I wonder if you can actually run out of that across the top right there. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, soft and let me state soil. Whoa, nope. And we got two Lepa Berries. That's cool. Um, Lepa Berries heal your PP if you run out. Oh, there is an item over here you can get. We got a Guard Spec. That's a one-time, uh, like, an item you can use in battle. And I think it prevents your opponent from getting critical hits. Let me check. Actually, no, you know what? I'll just use it in the next battle. Because I'm not too big on these, really. Prevent stat reduction. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of a fight where they reduce your stats and it can't. They bring a Tar Whaley, draw you in. Guitar wailing, that means it's crying, so that means you suck. 
Um, Marcos has a Voltorb. You get, you're going to be seeing a lot of electric types from now for a little while, so you better get used to them. Sonic. Oh, no. That's not good. i got to switch Pokemon here. I have to use Marshomp. There's no other way I'm going to be able to. I can't live another Sonic boom. And Tackle. Of course, you never know with this AI what they're going to do, so we're just going to Mud Shot. And yeah, Voltorb's also really fast, so it's probably faster than everything on my team right now. But, that's all it has, really. It's just really fast. Alright. If it had a really good special attack stat to back it up, then it'd actually be a really, really good Pokemon. But it doesn't, so we're just going to move on. I'm going to use another item. Do I have any more Super Potion? Oh, I have Potion. I'm going to use that to get rid of it, because you don't have infinite bag space in this game. I think this is the last game in this series where you don't have infinite bag space. Because, yeah, Gen 4, you have infinite bag space. So, yeah. So, you have to manage your items in this game, which can be a little annoying, but not. But the whole reason why you want to come over here is to grab this PP up. PP up is an item where it'll raise the PP of your moves, like it sounds like it will. Alright, this is a forced double battle here, so I don't want to put Psy out there. Uh, we're going to put Rakuhita with Nakata. We're going to see how that rolls. What do we got? We battle together as one team. Yay, good for you. Okay, so it's two against one, but that doesn't mean the odds aren't in our favor. Plusle and mine. And oh my god, not again. Ugh, cut and vital throw. Kill him like the rest. Helping hand. Alright, that's cool. Waste your turn. Helping hand. Yay, it didn't work. Cut and vital throw. I think that plusle should be about dead. No, it didn't. It lived it. Boo. We're going to do Leech Life and probably do a Vital Throw on Minin. Another Helping Hand. Oh, does this, this thing actually do something? Nope, just Helping Hands a whole lot. Okay. We're going to steal some HP back because we can. Alright. So now that that's done. And now we just have to deal with this Minin. Oh, I really don't want to do this. Uh, cut, and ch -ch 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 arm thrust? Yeah, we'll go with arm thrust. It actually did something. That's scary. Got a critical hit, too. Really, game? Thanks. Anyway, we're going to do some arm thrusts here. Alright, so, yay, it's done. Alright, so we beat the twins. And they lost. Yay, money for us. And her, that one on the right right there looked like it was derping so badly right now. I mean, oh, come on. I mean, seriously, though, that was, like, bad. The Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Don't be shy. I'll show you. Well, I hope you. I hope Pokemon isn't a name for something else. Okay, so he's a Skitty. Oh, no, this isn't going to be good. I'm going to hit this thing, and it's going to do Cute Charm on me. Yep, no or attract. That works, so now I'm in love. Love is one of those conditions where you have a 50-50 chance of attacking. If you don't attack, you'll be immobilized and you can't do anything that turn. I find it pretty annoying, but it's not as annoying as confusion because with love, you don't hurt yourself and then take damage from your opponent. You just do that. And oh, thank God that missed. I have to do arm thrust. I'm not going last. Oh, well, I'm fat and slow anyway, so we're just going to do an arm thrust here to kill the skitty because it doesn't attract and its ability to Q-Charm don't work on a female Pokemon. I'll work on uh, Pokemon of the same gender of it, I mean. So that's good. Anyway, so Marco is about to level up too. That's cool. Oh, jeez. No, Miguel, don't register. Uh, let's talk to this guy over here. If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. That's useful, isn't it? And this dude who looks like he's pissed. My fishing zone is all snarled up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. That's it. Battle me. Uh, okay. What are you, Jeff, after that fishing game they did? That Achievement Hunter did the other day? Level 5 Magikarp. Really? Really? Why would you have a level 5 Magikarp at this point in the game? Even Nkata could kill that thing in one hit. Tentacool. That's somewhat better. Though it's just, yeah, since the level 10. Yeah, I remember this guy. This guy is like, I think his third Pokemon is another Magikarp. Super! Come on, game! Stop being mean. Anyway, we're going to do another cut attack here. Hopefully, that's cool. 
Oh yeah, I have to show you guys something that cool that you can do with cut that I don't think I've shown it yet. Anyway, you can get another Magikarp. You guys will know what I mean by the cool thing with cut later. Splash. Nothing happened. Cut is confused. Please don't hurt yourself. Come on. Use cut again. Wait, Magikarp actually used an attack and it snapped and caught out of confusion. Cool. This is this would be like a three hit kill. If anything, I might just leech life it to steal its HP. But pretty soon it won't matter anyway that we have leech life. So we're gonna do the leech life. Hey, I did two damage. Cool. If he had that thing on level 20, I'd be worried because it'd be a Gyarados. And I'd be like, oh geez, that wouldn't be good. 63 and I didn't level up. You gotta be kidding me. Even more annoyed now. That's because you use crappy Pokemon. Bye. I'm leaving you forever. Forever alone. Anyway, I'm not gonna do this trick house up here yet. Because I wanna hand I wanna do most of those in like two episodes. I don't have a bike, so I take the leisurely walk along the low road. Now one thing you can do with cut right here, which I think is really cool, is like if I'm sitting right here for example and I have a Pokemon and those cut, I can actually use it. And what I can do is I can chop down all this grass in the area. So you can effectively net get a random encounter here because you used um, cut, which is really good. And here's a plus that we're going to kill because I think I could actually find my next Pokemon on this route. So I'll be doing that for a little while, but quick attack, oh yay. Actually, I was actually one of those morons that used Puzzle back in the Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Like, at all. I do not recommend it. anybody does that. It was like 8 or 9 when that happened, so I didn't know any better. But, my god, it was awful. Okay, we're going to do another cut. No, helping hand, like that's going to help. <laughs> helping hand help, I'm funny. Anyway, we're going to kill this and now level 20 cool what Nikata is evolving cool now you're thinking to yourself wait a minute you're supposed to use shed ninja aren't you you're getting a ninja -esque here what's going on well you'll see here in a minute this is one of those special evolutions alright so we have our ninja ask Nikata evolved in a ninja -esque. Yay! Ninjas are trying to learn double team. Yes, we want double team. Actually, do we want double team? Yeah, I'll get rid of sand attack. Why not? Double team. Ninjas is going to learn a ho fury cutter. Yes, we want fury cutter. We're going to drop leech life for fury cutter. Fury Cutter is a bug type move where the more times you use it in a row, the more times it gets stronger and stronger. And yes, we want Screech. I'm going to drop Harden for Screech. Alright, so now that we've got... Now we have Screech. That's cool. But if we look at our bag, now we also have this over here. Shedinja. Shedinja here is the Pokemon we actually need to be using. So what we're going to do, is, and it also has the same moves as what you just got from, that this ninja ask has. So whatever you want your ninja, whatever you teach ninja ask, Shedinja will learn. So that's something you really, really want. Because Shedinja, as you can tell, only has one HP. So any moves like double team, it wouldn't do anything. But I got it anyway because it was better than sand attack. Or maybe not, I don't know. Because they're both accuracy and evasive daily moves. But his ability, Wonder Guard, is really good. Wonder Guard means only super effective moves can hit. So the only moves that can damage Ninjask are Ghost, Dark, Fire, Rock, and Flying. Anything else can't touch him. So he's going to be a really good part of the team. But anyway, i got to go dump off my, my uh, Ninjask, so I'm going to run back to the... Guess I'm not running back to the Pokemon Center. Find an Electric, I don't need it, so I'm going to flee. Because at least Ninjask is really, really fast. Run away, because Ninja Ask is like freaking monster speed over here. Let's see what his speed stat is. Yeah, 69 speed at level 20. I mean, that's insane. And all my other Pokemon seem fat and slow compared to that. I think Ninja Ask is one of the fastest Pokemon there is. So, yeah, I guess it's good in that regard. 
Ninja S is usually one of those Pokemon where you're going to sit there for a while and use Swords Dance and then Baton Pass out. Because his ability is Speed Boost, so he gets faster every turn. So he's really a really good Baton Passer to other Pokemon. But I didn't pull him in the random number generator, so I can't use him. No, I don't want to withdraw. I want to deposit. I'm going to deposit Ninja S. And we're also going to... Eh, no, we'll, I'll hang on to PSI a little bit longer. He, he'll be good for teleporting. Anyway, we're going to keep going here. So, let's keep going up and up and up. Yeah, great commentary here, man. Great job. Anyway, but when you run back up here, you're going to notice it's all. The ground is not good. Or the, no, derp, derp. Um... What I'm trying to say here that the, the grass regenerates, so you can't just cut something forever. Anyway, we have a battle with a youngster here. Youngster Timmy, he's got an air on, that's cool. Level 15, has a real, lot of defense, so I'm, I'm going to be surprised if Arm Thrust kills it, actually. Even though it is four times effective. Oh yeah, well, totally. Okay, that's cool. Alright. So, air on's down, let's see what else we have here. Okay, yay, Makuita, 60 HP, that's cool. Electrike, now I probably should have switched out, but I decided not to. Because Makuita needs the levels, he needs to catch up. I'm going to start doing more arm thrusts. Alright, I think we're around the area for my Gulpin, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's probably in this area somewhere, I'll just have to look for it. Ah, oh, Thunder Wave. Wait, do I have Guts? If I have Guts, this would be really good. I might actually want to hang on to this Paralysis then. I'll have to check. If I have thick fat though, I'm getting rid of I'm gonna drop the paralysis. Guts is an ability where if you have it at status effect, your attack power goes up by a whole lot. So it's like it's one of those things because Heracross usually has guts. So what you do is you combine it with like a toxic orb, that way it takes damage every turn. Yes, it does have guts. Sweet. And anyway, we're gonna hang on to that then, and then now we're just gonna run around and search for Gulpin. I think you could find him in that patch of grass before, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, that's an Oddish. That's another Pokemon we need, actually, because Vileplume's on the list. So we're going to catch Oddish here. That's cool. Is that, yeah, Vileplume is on the list. So we might as well just catch Oddish right now. So the team's going to be coming together nicely. Hopefully Makuhita doesn't kill this thing. Yeah, two tackles should be good. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have an uber weakness to psychic types. That's not going to be fun. Yeah, that's great. Um bag. Yeah, we'll use a Pokeball. Catch this Ardish. Alright, that's cool. One, two, three. Yes! Cool, we got Oddish. So, now that we've caught Oddish, it's a weed. <laughs> yes. Nah, I, I, I'm not going to give him a nickname right now. I will later, though. Okay, so we caught Oddish. Now, the thing is, we gotta find Gulpin. If this is even the area where you find Gulpin. You know, I think I might actually go look this up on Bulbapedia. Yeah, in the middle of the episode, I'll look it up on Bulbapedia. Yeah, let's boot this up. See, hopefully this doesn't ruin my capturing. Yeah, it doesn't. That's cool. So, we're gonna exit out of those. Get on Bulbapedia real quick. Because, you know, it's the cure-all for everything. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Bulbapedia, it's awesome. You should go here. If you need, ever need anything about Pokemon, here's where you go. Gulpin. My computer is lagging. Yeah, where do you find this thing in Emerald? Uh, where should I look here? Um, appearances, maybe? No. I don't want that. I want, um, game locations. There we go, 6-3. Uh, Emerald, Route 110. Okay, that's cool. Now, are we on Route 110 is the question. Let me pull out the PokéNav here and check. Home and map. Let's see if we're on Route 110. Route 103. Yeah, this is Route... I think this is Route 110. Let me see if... um, Because over here is Route 103. This is all Route 110. That's cool. So, I should be able to find Gulpin down here. So we're going to look for a while for that. And sorry if this is going to take forever. It's going to be like trying to steal and mine in. No. 
So, we're just going to... Oh, if I had the ninja ask, so I would throw that out here and just have that to run away from everything. Might actually be smart to hang on to ninja ask for that. But, we only need to find two more Pokemon anyway. Electric, not what I want. Jeez, how long is it to find a freaking Gulpin? I can't escape. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm probably going to switch out here to something faster. Um... Yeah, like Marsh Top, maybe. It's kind of fast. I noticed I'm going to have no speed on this team whatsoever. Thunder Wave. Ha ha, it doesn't work. Wait a minute. If it didn't work on... If it didn't work on Marsh Top, how come Stun Spore didn't work on Ninkata? Or Stun Spore Grass type move now that I'm thinking about it? It might be. Oh, come on. I really need to put Marsh Tomp out front. Or I'll go get Ninjask and then off... I'll go get Ninjask, probably. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go grab Ninjask and throw it out first because it's really fast. So, I actually have a use for this thing now. That's cool. It's not going to be part of the main team or anything because I can't do that because I already generated my team. But I can use that as like a little bit of trying to catch other Pokemon. Yeah, I do want to withdraw it, actually. That'd be smart. All right, cool. So we got our ninja ask back. I'm gonna put it out in front. Cool. Oh, I didn't even have to run back here. I could use Abra and teleport. That would be smarter. That'd eliminate my run times. Just in between. So yeah, I'm actually gonna remember to do that from now on. Anyway, what do we have here in this little spot? Oddish, again, don't need one. I already caught one. We have ninja ask out here. We're just going to keep running away from everything until we find Gulpin. And this might take a while, and I'm not going to be happy if it does. Okay, what do we got this time? Mining! Again! Don't need it. Ugh, go. Run away again. I will find you, Gulpin! I need to. Where are you? Ugh, This is annoying. Jeez, this is almost as bad as well, trying to steal something in Final Fantasy. I mean, seriously, it takes forever. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. What can we find this time? Electric again. What, is Gulpin only like a 5 or a 10% chance or something? Because if so, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, go, 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 go. Where is a freaking Gulpin? Poochiana. Really? Really? Ugh. Run away. This is annoying and stupid. I need stupid Gulpin. Where are you? Seriously, I'm just running around in the grass. Wingo! Come on, game. Give me Gulpin. Ugh. Alright. Let's keep running around here, because it's only on this route. That's the problem. I mean, I could catch it in other routes. There it is. There we go. Gulpin. See, do I still have cut? Yes, I do. We're going to go for a cut. Because I know New Jessica isn't that strong. Poison gas. That's just great. Yay, so that's poisoned. Speed boost raises my speed at the end of the turn, and I'm going to take damage. We're going to throw a Pokeball. Hopefully this will be enough. And Gulp and will end up going to our boxes. So we'll have to teleport back when we're done and get it. Two. Three. Yes. Alright, cool. We got Gulp in. That helps out. That helps nicely. This Pokemon Stomach Flu can even just scrap iron. In one Gulp, it could swallow something as large as itself. Good lord. Someone's PC is put in box. Box one. That's cool. We're going to teleport back. Teleport. Yes. I'm going to take Ninja Ask out. We're going to put Gulpin in. Alright, that's cool. Actually, I'm going to talk to... Whoa, what the... Okay, I don't know what just happened, but alright. So, we just... we're going to heal up our Pokemans. Full health, that's cool. We're going to talk to the good old machine. Uh, we're gonna move, yeah, move Pokemon will work. 
We're gonna drop Ninjask. So that works. And anyway, I think we've done enough in this episode. We started we started along Route 110 underneath the cycling road. We also managed to fight all those extra trainers from Route 103. Ninkata evolved into a gulpin or nin, yeah, Ninkata evolved into gulpin, that's great. Ninkata evolved into shit into Shedinja. We called ourselves Oddish and Gulpin. And overall I think that's been a pretty good episode. And Makuhita got some levels. So yeah, I think I think I'll cut it here and in the next episode, heh <laughs> cut, get it. In the next episode we're gonna go under the cycle we're gonna continue going under the cycling road and meet the challenges that are up ahead. See you guys then.